it's time for another episode of Shopping with the Ombre. And today we're going to BevMo here in Riverside. Let's go check things out. Starting with the main case, we have a couple of mezcals up here. Illegal, I wouldn't touch. Los Vecitos is good. I'd buy that. Zicaro, this one was one that turned me off of mezcals originally. I do not recommend that one. And these are great if you want the bottles, but the tequila inside is not going to be very good. And then we have Ryu mezcal, which is a budget mezcal that isn't very good either. Stay away from that. Next up, we're looking at some Milagro, which I wouldn't touch. A Scorpion, uh, no. And then Ka, these are okay. Uh, Casa Dragonus, no. This other Mezcal, no. And then uh, Del Mague, these two are actually pretty decent. Ch Chichicapa is really good. Y Corrente, I would pass on. It, it doesn't taste very good. Neither does Cabo. Uh, the Siete Leguas is very good. I do recommend picking these up. Cabo de Oro is an additive bomb. And we have Casa del Sol, which is also an additive bomb. Don Falano here is good. Madre is good. Bazal, I would get. Casa Doris is diffused. Would not get that. Amon is overpriced. The additive stuff, wouldn't get that. Uh, Ocho here is really good. I'd get both of these Ochos. And of course, La Luna is a very good mezcal. Definitely recommend those. Over here, we have Avion, which is over oaked for the 44 and not very good quality tequila. I'd leave that. That's an additive bomb and more additive bombs from Casa Maestri. Then we have Sincora, which is also an additive bomb. Next shelf, we have Coralejo, which used to be good, but not anymore. Grand Cur Caramino, which is not good. Uh, Casa Dragonist, of course, diffused garbage. Keys, an additive bomb. And then Don Julio, which isn't very good. And then 1800, which also isn't very good diffused stuff. Uh, Don Pilar, very good extra Nejo. And then uh, these are all rest not ones I would touch. Next, we have Mia Gave, which is a huge additive bomb over manipulated tequila, which isn't good quality. I wouldn't touch this stuff right here at all. On to the next shelf, we have Patron, which is kind of bland, overpriced tequila. But if you're in a pinch and need something, it's okay. Next, we have Don Julio, which is horrible now. It used to be really good. Madre Mezcal is good. Uh, Calarosa Blanco, I'm not a fan of. And then we have Trace Generaciones, which is diffused garbage. Herradura used to be good. It's not good anymore. And then we have Casa Amigos. The Mezcal is no good. And the uh, tequila is additive bombs. Then Zars is an additive bomb. Herradura used to be good, but it's not good any longer. Salento is overpriced. Coda goes rough and very hot. And 818 is an additive bomb. And Partita used to be good, but not any longer when it changed distilleries. And the rest of these tequilas are ones that I would not, except for Lalo there, the rest of these tequilas are not ones that I would buy. Then we got Hornitos, which is diffused garbage. I wouldn't touch this stuff. Not good. Leave it on the shelf. Do not touch this. <laughs> Next, we have Casadoras, which is also diffused garbage. Do not touch this either. Cimarron is okay as a mixer. I wouldn't do it sipper. Santo, I really enjoy. I enjoy the Blanco and the Repo there. And then, uh, what is it? Icorento, no good. Himidor, uh, Diffused. Uh, and then D4, this one's really good. So I would definitely grab a bottle of that. Uh, Chim Chimucos is good. Uh, I'll do a review of all those. I don't mind those at all. And then Centenario is not good. Espelon's okay budget brand, if you like that stuff. And then uh, Salsa is Diffused Garbage. Don't touch it. Next shelf is 1800, which is diffused tequila from Cuervo. Milagro, low end, I wouldn't touch that either. More uh, diffuser Cuervo stuff here, wouldn't touch this as well. All right, next shelf we have Avion, which is not very good. Los Lobos, which isn't very good. El Tesoro, good stuff. And Trace Agaves is also good stuff. I definitely get those. Uh, Senorita, I wouldn't get. This is all diffused stuff here. And then um, Luna Azul is a good budget, okay budget brand if you want to get into that. I'm not a fan. And same with Altos Omeka. To do a quick, to do a quick summary of uh, everything that I would buy here, I definitely would recommend G4 Tequila. It's very good, very well made. Felipe Camarena is a genius. Next, see at the Leguas is very good as well. Um, everything they do is, is great. So any expression, Blanco, Repo, Añejo. I really like the Añejo from them. And then we also have a special limited edition brand, uh, edition coming out soon. Ocho is very good as well. Everything from Ocho, you can't go wrong. Really nice flavor, natural flavor, no additives. Uh, Carlos Camarena does everything right here. Love this brand. Then next we have Don Filano out of 1146, which is a good brand out of 1146. It's not my favorite. There's others I prefer more, but Don Filano is still a solid brand, and I do recommend picking them up if you want a good tequila. Don Pilar is also very good. This extra Nijo is tasty. I do recommend it. 
Um, no artificial flavors or additives to this. It's a solid extra Nijo. Tonteo is a budget brand that kind of really sleeper. It surprised me. Their Blanco is very good. And they have some pepper infused versions, which make for some really nice spicy cocktails. Trace Agaves is from my friends at uh, T-Tap, which is a really nice uh, distillery. Super good. They do things right. This um, Trace Agaves is a really nice mixer. Uh, I'd sip it too, but it's also very good for Palomas and Margaritas. El Tesoro is my well tequila. I love El Tesoro. Everything that Carlos Camarena does out of La Tina is amazing. And this stuff, just super, really nice, good flavoring. And it's just a sol solid tequila. For Miss Cows, this Los Vecinos del Campo is a really nice budget espadine. I recommend it uh, for those two that are beginners. It's really good. And for $29.99, you can't beat the price. And then the last of the Miss Cows that I would buy out of here was La Luna, uh, which both of these, the Espanencio is really good. And then I, um, the Tequiliana is uh, their own exclusive version for BevMo. So you're, so you're probably wondering which... Uh, Bottle I grabbed. I grabbed the La Luna Tequiliana Special Edition BevMo Edition. Um, looking forward to trying this against the Tequila Barrel Collective's edition as well. So there you go. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you give us a like and subscribe because we have lots of great information to help you find really great tequila and mezcals to try. And like I say, life is too short to drink bad tequila or mezcal. So keep following the Tequila Hombre channel and you'll be guided towards some really good tequilas and mezcals to try. Salute.